You know, there's a couple of things that every gearhead wants out of their engine. More power and better fuel economy. That's a fact. Unfortunately, another fact is that there's a lot of manufacturers out there that make products that claim to do something and then they really don't deliver. So we have to be skeptical. So when E3 spark plugs came to me and said, we got this new spark plug that will give you more power and better fuel economy, I said what any gearhead would say, prove it. And they said, all right, let's make a trip to Michigan. So we did. Seen at grassroots motorsports tracks around the country, E3 Spark Plugs is quickly becoming a recognized brand in the automotive world. The E3 Spark Plug is based on a patented unique design called Diamond Fire Technology that provides more power, lower emissions, and increases efficiency. E3 is known primarily from race series and other involvements that we have from a marketing perspective. But really our company is founded in R&D. Uh, we started testing back in the late 90s and we're continuing to test today. We decided to team up with Michigan Tech because of their tremendous facilities and because of the great reputation they have throughout the country for producing some of the best engineers as well as some of the, the, the highest level uh, academic testing you know, in the industry for our, our type of product. Michigan Technological University is a nationally acclaimed automotive research facility committed to addressing some of the most difficult environmental issues of our time. The caliber of talent coming out of the university is staggering. Michigan Tech does about $60 million of research every year in, in a whole variety of disciplines. And that's one of the, the key things in our students who have a 90% success in finding a job in their discipline uh, within a few months after graduation. We think one of the keystones of a Michigan Tech education is hands-on training, what we call experiential learning. And so you can, you can be in a lab, you can be in a car, you can be in a, a snowmobile, you can, you can take part in, in all kinds of activities that it's not just theory and classroom work, and it's not just in a controlled situation in a lab. You can do all sorts of things and interact with people from all kinds of disciplines. It's not unusual at all to have a mechanical engineer and a business major working together on some sort of project. Part of the E3 testing effort, we not only wanted the affiliation of a nationally acclaimed research facility like this, but also the advice and input of key industry personalities. Veteran automotive engineer Jim McFarlane and TV personality and host Stacy David of Speed TV show Gears also joined us. Jeremy, this is a little different than a regular dyno that I've seen. What are we looking at here, man? What, what the early burn duration translates to is the stability of the combustion process. Okay. And by making that early burn more stable, we can run more dilution in the cylinder, and that's directly translated into the fuel As these test protocols develop over the next few months, more of this kind of data will translate into the, uh, the increased power and torque that, that people normally relate to. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited. We've run some preliminary results so far. The results, as you can see here, are very encouraging, mm -hmm. and I'm excited to continue testing both at full throttle as well as start to look at some of the part load effects. Now that we've seen what the dyno has to say, let's see what the combustion chamber test concludes. Oh, yeah. We're going in here. Oh, this is And Jim, what, why do these look so different? What, what's going on in there? Well, Stacy, the, the E3 technology is allowing the burn to progress more rapidly, and the, and the images there will show you, Chris, if you can go back and show the, uh, the progression. Stop it right there, if you will, please. You can see the amount of turbulency and activity going yeah. on there, as well as the speed, so the burn rate is much quicker. Essentially, you're burning more of the fuel that's there in the same period of time, and that's what translates into more power or lower emissions or better fuel economy. And this is the same. This is the same time of the burn on both of them, right? Correct. Exactly the same time. Yep. Wow. So all this burn that's going on up here, that's like you say at this point, that's more power, that's more economy. Actually, you're burning more of the fuel quicker, so you're yeah. producing higher cylinder pressure, which translates into better fuel economy and more power. And what's why is this growing so quick? Is that because of the little cage design? Or well, again, the, well, what we'll call the E3 technology creates that, rapid, that more rapid burn. They're starting at the same period of time, but you can see the flame rate progresses much more quickly. Wow. Yeah. 
So I guess the really big question is, is it really possible to get more performance out of an engine just by swapping in these crazy looking spark plugs? Well, you've just seen the science and you've just seen the testing. The only thing left to do is to get you some and see what you think. Because if it is possible to get more performance and fuel economy out of a spark plug, well, you'd be crazy not to use them, wouldn't you? E3 spark plugs indeed produce the most complete combustion, resulting in more power, better fuel economy, and cleaner emissions.